there's nothing my God cannot do. Clap, clap, that's it. So if you want to pick up on the chorus, the children are going to be doing the chorus and then we're going to be watching the words for the verse. See how we go. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my Yeah, well done, Grace. It's a fast-moving song. Okay, so I'm going for a, a little hunt around here. I told you we have fun in Sunday school. So Simone last, two weeks ago, who was here for the egg story? Emma, were you, here? you were here, weren't you, for the egg story? Okay, but we're going to tell the story to the whole congregation and Simone's going to prompt me. So, um, whoops a daisy. So I'm going to need, where's Scarlett? Come on, Scarlett. And Emma, would you like to be our helper? That's right. I keep this one. You girls are going to take that out to the front and the first one is this one. So go and see if you can find someone who will be brave enough to come out and stand out with me at the front. Okay, start over that way with Alan Gorman. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. 
Well done. Up you come, Alan. I knew you'd be a good sport in this. Okay. So what have you found in the gold egg? Yes. What have you found? What shape is it? That. Yes. And what shape is this? It's a jelly bean. Okay. And you scored a red jelly bean out of my egg. How lucky are you? And I did. I did. Yeah. A red jelly bean is for the blood that Christ shed for me. Okay. Oh, yes, and for you. Too. Yes, absolutely. Now, Alan, you're going to stand next to that leaf there. That's great. Okay, time to hand out the next one. Just choose anyone around you. Ben's right beside you there. <laughs> Come on, Ben. This is a multi age church. White is for the perfect life he led. Fantastic. So as you can see, the Easter egg is telling us a story. Now, you need to come this side. Is that right, Simone? Yep. Because we're going to tell the story of Easter using the Easter eggs. Okay, Scarlett and Emma, off you go. <clears throat> right down the middle here. Do you know Mrs. King over here? Here in this lovely pink floral T-shirt. Here we go. Come out the front, Jill. That's, that's the way. Thank you. And girls, you can think about up the back there, someone you might like to give the next one to. <clears throat> so what jelly bean did you find, Jill? Black is for my heart of sin. Yep. So we're telling the story of Easter. Did you want to say something about that? What's that? Did you want to say something about that? Well, it's true, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So the colours so far, we've got the red for the blood of Jesus. We've got the white for the perfect life. He led. He led. Yep. And then you've got the, and then you have the, the sin. Yep. Black is actually my favourite jelly bean actually. Um, okay. Next one. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Okay. Lynn has a green is for new life found in him. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that's very much part of the sto Easter story. Okay, Barry, you got the next one. Come, th come forward. Yeah, if you can move along a little, that'll be great. You'll be out of camera shot, but that won't matter. That's all right, Barry's coming along. Now, what colour did you get, Barry? Oh, I, I think it's pink. Yes, you're right. It's a girl's colour. <laughs> Not in the 21st century, sorry. Pink is for boys as well. Pink is for the flowers near his grave. Yep. And you'll find out why we had to have that line in it very soon. Um, okay, now where are we up to? Oh, John. Come on, John. <clears throat> yep, this is John. My friend John. Have you met John before? This is, this, this is Archie. Mm -hmm. That's right, you've been... Yep. That's right, you can meet him later. Over jelly beans. <clears throat> so, uh, blue is for the world, well, blue is for the world he came to save. Absolutely. So let's go through again. Red is for the, the blood. blood. Jesus shed. The perfect life you led. White is for the perfect life. Black is for my heart of sin. Green is for new life found in him. Pink is for the flowers on his grave. And blue is for the world he came to save. Mm -hmm. Now, where are we up to? Oh, we've got a couple more. Come on, Angela. Great. Oh, Angela's got one that matches her shirt. Well done. And it's her favourite colour, and I know that because I know Angela very well. She loves purple. Um, purple is for the temple veil, now torn. Yep, which is all part of the Easter story. And we have Lynn. Oh, okay, I'm getting directives here. So squeeze in. So if Angela, if you can come behind the children here. That's good. This is for the people at home. So you can see our beautiful people up the front helping out run this little children's talk. Okay, here we go. And let's me find Lynn. 
Orange is for the sky on Easter morn. There you go. Well done. And there must be one more colour. Come on, Justin. Justin. Hi, Justin. Hello. Yellow is for my happy grin to know that Jesus rose again. Fantastic. Okay, now, so, yep, great. Well done. Okay, now stay there because it's important that we all read these out so that they rhyme like a poem, okay? So are you ready to go with the flow? Here we go. Red is for the blood that Jesus shed. White is for the perfect life he led. Black is for my heart of sin. Green is for a new life found in him. Pink is for the flowers near his grave. Blue is for the world he came to save. Purple is for the temple veil now torn. Orange is for the sky on Easter morn. Yellow is for my happy grin to know that Jesus rose again. Well done. Give them a clap. Thank you. You can pop them in there. Thank you very much. So thank you to Simone for preparing all the jelly beans. And um, we haven't tempted your taste buds um, too much, have we, about jelly beans? Okay. Um, because after the service, we have a surprise for you. So you'll be able to practice that at home, that little rhyme. <coughs> Now, yeah, the children can go back to their parents now or sitting at the front. If you want to be at the front, you can. That's great. Well, that was fantastic. Thank you for that lovely time and uh, for the volunteering, I must say, of so many of our church people. Well, you can get some things right, can't you? Um, We've had a great time out during the sermon while for the youth while um, and it's been a, a really lovely time of being able to share and uh, kind of just hear where people are at, grow relationships, but also bring a godly godly focus into that. And one of the things we did last year, and the girls might remember that. Um, and we've got a slide actually that we could put up at this time. Um, we did, I don't know whether anyone's familiar with those hostage posters that you make out of newspapers. Well, we decided to make, to cut up newspapers and to come up with, with characteristics of Jesus that describe his attributes. And so we've got a few things here. And some of them just blew me away when we were doing them at the time. For example, Jesus is my vision of per perfection. How's that? Um, Jesus is my guide, my hope, my king, my shield, the son of God. Good guy. Does that look familiar, the good guy? I wonder where we got that from out of the newspaper. Lord, truth, Jesus is my everything, my glory my healer he is never changing tip top um, he is eternal he's great he's welcome a little ripper washing my sins perfect a very personal connection that was a beauty too um, my hero my light authentic timeless loves life-saving beautiful our redeemer anywhere anytime loyal so the the words that they came up with describing the attributes of jesus form part of our pl our prayer for today so um as we come together as a as a corporate group let's let's give these prayers up to god um so let's pray now dear lord we gather here as a community of faith to celebrate the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, giving Jesus our praises and thanks for all his goodness and the redemption he freely gave us at Calvary. Our young people have captured some of these aspects in the poster um, about who Jesus is, and we praise you for all these characteristics, Jesus. 
which are for our good and which show your sovereignty. You are our vision of perfection, our Lord, our King, our shield, our healer, the Son of God. You are truth. You are our victory. You're a good guy. You're never changing. You're timeless. You're authentic. You're my light. You're our redeemer. You're perfect. You're our hero. You're loyal. You're a very personal connection, to name but a few. We're glad that on Palm Sunday, you were being given the honour and praise you deserved during your time on earth. But Lord, we're sorry for how quickly the people turned against you, for how quickly we too can go our own way, following our own interests and pursuits. Lord, bless these children and young people in our fellowship. May the foundations being developed through song, dance, learning about you, be their strength in the days ahead as they grow in their understanding of faith in you. Lord, as adults, may we have a simple childlike faith to come to you with all our desires, worries, burdens, and to praise you because you're, and so that you're part of our everyday lives. And Lord, we turn our eyes to the wider world and we continue in disbelief to see the destruction and willful loss of life still occurring in the Ukraine. We pray this will cease and give thanks for their endurance and determination to defend their land. May medical food and clothing supplies reach those who are in greatest need. We pray, Lord, seeking your help to change the stubborn hearts of those causing this conflict and bring this to an end. Once again, the floods in Queensland and New South Wales are reoccurring. So we pray for those affected and for aid to flow quickly to restore vital services. Lord, we thank you that whatever life dishes up, you are always there in the midst. You are our strength and you are our comfort. You are our strong anchor in the storm. And Lord, we pray for Phil Spivey, uh, who's suffering, suffered this week and continuing to suffer with severe back pain, which required a hospital visit during the week. And we bring Isaac to you as, as he recovers from his appendicitis. Lord, there's probably many other needs out there and we bring those to you as well. And Lord, we thank you as we've just sung about that you are so big, so strong and so mighty. And you can work through any situation. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you. Praise your holy name. I'd invite now people um, to prepare for the offering and to those stewards that are on duty, please to uh, come out the front and uh, while that's taking place, I'll offer up this prayer. So, um, Lord, you've given us life. You give us purpose and you give us hope. Thanks for these precious gifts. We can never repay the debt we owe to you. And that's okay. Everything you've created is wonderfully made. And all we have belongs to you. Take these gifts, both large and small, multiplying them and using them for your purposes of your earth. May our hearts be open to freely give in helping others and listening to your voice. Amen.
The reading today comes from Matthew 21 and is about Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. I'll be reading verses 1 to 5 and Genevieve will be reading verses 6 to 11. We're using the English Standard Version. When they came, when, now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethsage to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you'll find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put on them their cloaks, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. Oh. <laughs> Always make an Yes, yes. Careful putting it in my pocket. All the Gospels have the uh, Palm Sunday address. And I want to keep it very short this morning, and, and that would be a wonder, will not it, Mick? In the reading this morning, it's probably two things I really want to say for us to think about as we approach into what we call a Holy Week, into the Easter season. And in the reading, the question is, who is this? Who is this? And I challenge us as we enter into today and through Holy Week that we would ask that question of ourselves often and regularly. In fact, I think it'd be good for us to get up every morning and go to bed every night and remind ourselves and ask ourselves that question, who is this? Because it's only in the answer, it is Jesus, it is Jesus that we can fully comprehend and live the life that God has really called us to be. But as I, I've often found myself on most Sunday, on Palm Sunday's uh, preaching because it's uh, the minister's role to do the big uh, Easter address coming up Good Friday and uh, Resurrection Sunday. And I always try to look for something a little different. And this morning I want to present a little something different I hadn't seen before. Because I asked myself the question, who is this? And I looked into the reading and it was shared with the girls today. And it's a simple little bit that says, Jesus says, go in, present, uh, using a prophecy of the Old Testament, go in and you'll see a donkey tied. Untie it. Untie it. And that word really struck to me. That you and I, as we go through life, even when we respond to that question, who is it, find ourselves often tied to something. And when we're tied, we are not able to be as responsive as we would want to be to that question, who is it. I don't know about you, but I know that I have been tied to anxiety, to fear, to uncertainty. I know I can be tied to my tablet, to my social media, I can be tied to a TV program, I can be tied to worries about the future, I can be tied to money, I can be tied to so many things. 
And any of those things that overcome us cripple us. And some of us struggle as we walk through life answering the question, who is this? But Jesus doesn't leave us there. He sends somebody alongside of us, which is a powerful thing because you and I here today are Christ to the community. We are Christ to one another. We are Christ to our partner. We are Christ to each other here. And just coming alongside one another can be a powerful thing to help us untie those things that hinder us to be all that God wants us to be. So this morning I leave us with two thoughts. Who is this? And what do we need to let go and let God? What do we need to untie in our life? Let us pray. Father God, as we celebrate this coming of Jesus in a triumphant uh, entrance into Jerusalem, we know he came as, a, as the Lord of peace, humble. There were no armed people. There was no revolution as such. There was people crying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And Lord, as we enter into this holy week, May we continue to ask ourselves, who is this? May we continue to have open hearts to acknowledge there are things that we tie ourselves to that are not healthy for that relationship and help us to be mindful that we often cannot do it on our own and that we are the hands and the feet to come alongside, to love as you love unconditionally, to offer mercy and grace and journey with one another. Who is this? It is Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> so as Nola said, who is this? Are we going to be part of the crowd waving the branches saying, I'm going to follow this man? And this very upbeat version of a song you will all know, I have decided to follow Jesus, is very upbeat and I, I love it. And we're going to really walk around this church parading, aren't we? As a, a decision that we are going to fo follow Jesus. So children, you're going to follow Simone and those who have their streamers can either join the Congo line around the church or form their own little Hosanna up the, in their seat. But it'd be lovely if some of you could join the Congo line. So let's see how we go, Simone. Are you going to be the head or the tail? <laughs> okay, let's try the music. Let's see how we go. And don't forget to sing and clap. It's a great song. Standing up, children, up we go. To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. 
Hey, I have decided to follow Jesus. I hope that's not only the words we sing, but that's the reality in our hearts. Well, I've had some criticism for being a bit short in my sermon this morning. <laughs> so I'm just checking the time to see, oh no, I won't go any further. <laughs> Isn't it great to see our young people and uh, all just join in and do it a little differently? And we've got to thank Simone particularly for doing so much of this. <laughs> she's, she's put so much work into it and so much now. I think we've got a little surprise, haven't we? Yes. We have? Everyone. Are we going to do that now? Or are we going to do it? After the benediction. After the benediction. Okay, so we've got a little something for everybody after the benediction. So we're going to have afternoon, well, afternoon tea, morning tea, not afternoon yet, um, and continue the fellowship. There are some people here visiting. I remember one couple, Jackie Stewart. See, there they are in the middle. That's a good way of remembering people. And, uh, but if the people you don't know, go up and have a chat and fellowship. It's great that we had someone on the drums today, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, before I say the blessing, just thank you, thank you for your involvement. Uh, these guys do so much in the church, we really appreciate it. Thank you for those who led and were part of it and uh, continue to go into this week and we pray for safety because I know a lot of people are going away, safe journeying and enjoy family and friends, whatever you might be doing. But as we finish this morning, may that be our truth. Who is Jesus? I have decided to follow him in all the fullness of life. So let us stand together. As we go into this week, into this holy week, into this time of reflection, a time of challenge, time of enjoyment and celebration, may we go in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and may his peace, joy, grace, mercy and love be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. Morning, and surprise.